Welcome to Fanny Magnet and right now in this video I'll explain you what exactly is a proxy server and how it works. Before we start with this video, let's understand what the proxy word mean. Now proxy mean working on behalf of someone authorized or may not be okay for example if in college okay if you are not going you are not attending the class and someone putting your attendance there that's called a proxy that someone is putting your attendance in the class even if you are not going there so that means that's a proxy someone is doing that by informing you or someone is doing without informing you so that's a proxy it may be authorized and it may not be so that was a small idea a definition about a proxy when it when we talk about the proxy on the internet what that exactly mean the proxy can be a computer a whole computer can be a proxy a proxy can be a server and a proxy can also be an application which can be installed and run on a computer when we talk about the application based proxy generally a user a home user a student use that application in order to access some information which are restricted or which is required to access that information so that's an application based server are normally used by big organization and a computer it is also used by a small medium organization in order to access some information in order to access some data now as I said a proxy is a person a tool which work on behalf of the user to get the information to get the data when when we use a proxy we get the information from the server but not directly but using but by using a proxy by some other way now just take a look on this small video which explain you like when as you can see this this there are three computers okay now this computer want to access some information so this computers can directly go to the server and take that information and also they can go with a proxy now what is the difference between when we use proxy and when we don't use a proxy now proxy when we use a direct connection the communication is made directly between a computer to the server so every time you're trying to access the information your information your call or your request will go from your computer to that direct server and the server will respond and give you that particular information now when we put a you know a, a proxy server in the between the these two computers the information what, whatever you are requesting goes to proxy server and from proxy server it goes to that main server so next time when you try to request the same information the proxy server do a caching a work of a caching information so it store that particular information so next time whenever you want that particular information it does not go to that particular whole server it directly goes to the proxy server and the information is already stored there so it take that information and give you back so that is a, one of the best use the organization do in order to use a proxy server it is also used for a security purpose now if this computer which you see on the screen trying to access any information from that direct server it is possible that a hacker uh, you know the bad guys can get into between and can you know uh, take that data out from that link but what if, if it goes to a proxy and proxy has a you know better firewalls better security systems so it will be difficult for the ha hackers to get into the proxy server and take that information and moreover the hacker will ve you know the possibility of the hacker will come to know is very less that what exactly the data this guy is trying to access using a proxy so that's the second use of using a proxy server which is about for the security purpose which is normally used by 
a organization now in general term when we talk about a proxy that's a web proxy which is used by everyone you know in in their home in their offices now what exactly this do for example if there is a website which is blocked in your country if it's blocked in your state you can definitely access that particular website using a proxy if you seen this video i have explained how it is working so what happen when you try to access the website your request from your computer directly goes to that server and the server send you a request that your country is not author authorized to take this information to take this data from me so but when you use a proxy the information goes to the proxy server and proxy ser server send a request to that server to the main server now main server never understand where this data is going to go so it sends the data it sends the information and that information comes to you so that is the mostly used proxy these days so in the country like china in the country you know there are many countries where youtube facebook are blocked so people use proxies and they try to access that content that information you need to understand as i said using a proxy can be legal can be illegal it can be authorized it cannot be authorized so if you are sitting in a country where you are not authorized to use a particular website and you're doing that that's a completely illegal so this was a short explanation about the video about a proxy server and if you think this video was helpful hit the like button and if you have any query about proxies comment down below and as always thank you for watching the video